technology uh, research slot. Okay, we have our own problem though. We're the ones that are attacking across the river. Thankfully, they're pathetic. We will kill them. Unless they get the backup, which is possible. The river's really doing your ability to attack hard. Cuba is not on the chopping block. Invading Cuba is just too much for my little, uh, little army. Oh, really? Is this only as far as I sent you? Oh, that was, uh, that was not what I should have done. Well, I did it anyway. <laughs> I retreated from that battle. I didn't realize what was going on. So stuff's still going on in Europe here. Romania chose poorly. They have now become part of Greater Soviet Union. Come on, Soviets, you can occupy faster than that. I wonder if the Reich and the Soviets are going to go head to head, though. Because uh, Germany could break a pact with them and go to war, but really it doesn't seem like it would benefit either of them. Mind you, poor decisions were made on all sides. We'll see how well that works for either of them. Come on, tanks need to break on through. Jake, would you consider playing a short game of Sweden in Hoi 4 in honour of our national dag? When is your national day? That doesn't really affect the fact that the answer is probably going to be no, but you never do know. Alright, continuing to move in there. Don't like that pocket existing, and I also don't like the complete lack of assistance that I'm getting from you. Might be because I killed all your men, but that's just a might. I would love to just roll south to Buenos Aires, but taking care of the enemy army should be a priority right now. It's just not having my units in position is a pain. Oh, the front is moving. That's not what I signed up for. That's going to auto change itself whenever I uh, alter the borders here. Mm, they're holding us here pretty well. They're suffering on Org, though. Oh, I'm going to push south a bit. How are those cavalry going to hold up against my tanks? Are they going to go full uh, Polish Hussars on me, or will I be able to blast them away? Yeah, they just. Cannot penetrate my armor. Which only works out well for me. Sending two tanks to this across the river is not really working out too well for me. But at least we're plowing through their org. When in doubt, throw another tank on. Although I don't intend on having that tank move out with them. It's so painfully slow, but the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The infrastructure here is really poor. So go figure, my units move awfully slowly. I think they're trying to back them up, so perhaps this uh, fighting across the river malarkey isn't going to help us out quite as much as I'd hoped. Perhaps I need to push a little further south, stretch their lines a little thinner. In fact, thin is the word. Okay, now they're, they're marching in there. They'll be there in one day 11. That's a lot faster than I can make it. Don't know how fast they'll make it there, but if I do engage, 
I'll probably just pull out, I don't want to be jumping face first into that. I didn't really well on the factory front. I wish I could build up my nuclear infrastructure, but that ain't happening. We need more. It would be nice if I could build, like, breeding tanks to get more uh, people on the go. No, don't eat Argentina, Jake. Oh, don't worry. It's not going that well in terms of eating Argentina. But I'm trying. These guys should probably just hang out, hang up a bit. Regain some org. We need you guys down here, folks. Who else is there to come? I think the rest have made it. Except you guys who just don't know what you're doing. Secret cloning facilities, Jake. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anything to get more manpower, except scraping the barrel. Scraping the barrel will only give us 5% more. Now granted, I could do this. 2%, 3%. That's only 5% more recruitable population. Whereas this would give us some really good strengths. Alright. Maybe, since we actually have units here, we can be fast enough. Oh, how cute. They have a division, and they're maybe making a plan. them just yet. We may well get there before them. Not quite yet able to push. But I'll chop them. Maybe you could use console commands to get more manpower, Jake. Just maybe. Well, I'm playing in Iron Man mode, so nay. <clears throat> oh, my regular infantry suffers so hard from absolutely no support. In contrast, their uh, their units probably have at least some level of support. Well, thankfully we're defending in the old mountains. We'll be okay-ish. But I need to push. I keep, uh, keep getting more defense. Okay. At least now we're into the open. Run them down. And then again, you have very little to speak of. Okay, I'm going to spread their line thin. We actually have the units to support this. So, how will I do this? Hmm. Perhaps I'll set you up, but... I shall make you very thin, as in I only want you here. And we shall get no, not the not the purple guys, just the green guys assigned to this. And my tanks can do the offensive. hope it works. It's not so good that I leave that completely undefended, but they too are failing in defense. So let's push. And I'm also going to keep you from moving in on that so I can take this and just close off any gaps. Allowing me to free up more of my very limited soldiers and fight here. Because yeah, I'm still taking horrific losses. Jake, can you explain your reasoning behind you going mobile Warfare. Just curious, is this a classic case of DDR gimped, or is there something I've not considered in the focus tree? Well, if I was thinking harder about it, because I didn't know how much of a uh, an issue manpower would be, probably would have gotten the mass assault doctrine, so that I would have more people to throw at the enemy. Hmm. 
That said, how many more people do we get? Is that 5% recruitable population? Is that all? I thought it was a bit more. Supply consumption, planning, mechanized wave. Okay. What I wanted was to be fast and outmaneuver my enemies, but that's difficult to do when you just can't produce the necessary goods to do that. But we try. Okay, listen guys, all's fine and dandy, but I really need you to actually defend this front. So I'm not entirely sure why you're all just standing there, but I'm sure you have your own ideas. can't afford to have all my tanks cut off as well. That would be daft. Jake, can you show off your manpower laws? Here we go, we are all adults, sir. Factory output goes way down. But at least we have some units to throw at the enemy. And there we go, we've closed off a little bit more there. And it's a bit of a cleaner line. Gotta break on through to the other side. Sadly, we're still behind this uh, river. They won't be able to hold this river forever. Although they have a dangerously large amount of units here. If I can push around this guy, I can cut him off. But then he could likely be thinking the same thing. That's why we have our infantry backing us up. Forget the uh, forget the close air support. They've all been shot down or died in accidents. When it comes to here, yeah, the region is so big we can only cover so much of it. But I could move further down. I have this considerably better located. Um, there we go. Let's see if that works out a bit better. Oh, Jinx, you're plowing through faster than I thought, my mighty tank divisions. Okay, leave one there for now, just in case I get cut off. I want to get a look at Buenos Aires, because that I can encircle and take. So it's worth a staggering ten points. The other cities are worth, let's see, what do we got? One, one... A lot of ones I'm seeing here, but they only have 70%. We might be in for a good victory here if I just snipe Buenos Aires and then go for any other important cities that I find in the area. Come on, tanks. You're not rolling fast enough with me. Let's cross this river. Oh! Let's indeed cross this river. Alright, Buenos Aires is fairly well defended, but I'm going to encircle it. And they can try attacking me. But it won't work for them. Jake, no way to prepare a naval invasion. <laughs> yeah, with what units? I have everything I can acting as the meat shield here. Let's keep this going, lads. We just need to keep the enemy at bay. Why did I fight here? Oh, it was it was actually possible for me to cross the river when I was looking at that earlier. Okay, you guys, you're all green, but I want Buenos Aires. I will want it considerably better when I'm not crossing a river to get there. Once I take Buenos Aires, it'll give me a good idea of how much that helps towards their capitulation. Just by taking not much land, I've been able to do 5% damage to them in that regard. Okay, yeah, sure, if you want to attack me that way, go nuts. Down. Fairly drawn out line, but I want to chop up the Argentines. I 
excuse me there, like I said, I am feeling rather under the weather today. Nothing, <coughs> nothing at all to do with my abysmal performance here, I'm sure. Crossing this river is of vital importance for us. The enemy has no orc whatsoever, though. We will win here. The question is how long until we win. 21 days is a bit of a wait, guys. We don't have that long. We really can't afford to be cut off ourselves either, so I just want to take a quick gander, make sure that everything is as it should be along here. And those other tanks are almost ready for deployment as well. This is good. Eventually, I'll be seeing about uh, vastly reducing my actual foot soldiers. Preferably not by way of just throwing them into war, but at least this way they're not dying horribly. They're armoured, it takes a lot to blow through them. Alright, we're sending them packing, as long as they don't keep reinforcing, which they're doing a fairly good job of doing, mind. There's still a little bit of... You guys are getting ravaged here. I don't want to send you guys across the river to die, but I do want to take this. It's fairly important. Right, so I'm going to grab one of my armored divisions, one that actually still has a touch of uh, org, and have you take over from this and have the other one regain some org. Because I do not want these guys getting a moment of rest. I need to plow down their orgs so that when I encircle and attack them, they are ready to just throw up their arms. Speaking of throwing up our arms, potentially in excitement, got ourselves a better tank. We could get an even better tank in only 200 days. How much better are you? Only a touch more production cost, but uh, that... Soft attack, hard attack. I think we'll research the medium tank 3, even though it's well ahead of time. Because then we can focus on making those, and a variant for that, because making variants costs precious army experience. Alright, we gotta push on through here. We gotta break on through to the other side. Heck, I could just take uh, both of my tanks here. Because I wish to completely encircle Buenos Aires and snipe that city. That'll help us quite a bit with the uh, forcing capitulation. Jake, are you able to give your puppets new land or are they locked in size? I could give them new land, but I need manpower so badly. I am taking everything I see. From Chimpan A to Chimpan Z. They estimate another eight days until this battle is done, assuming no reinforcements from the enemy. Listen, everybody, we need to get across. I'll grab one of you that still has a shred of org and get you over there, but the rest of you need to push here. And they've got to go. They're given their all, but their all won't be enough. Jake, can you take land from your puppets or integrate them? I don't think so. I feel bad forcing these tanks to go and fight in Buenos Aires just for the purpose of keeping them down. I'm just draining their org right now. I think I will... Oh, what's that? I spy people running away from here. You have not a shred of hope for victory, Argentina. Roll over and die. And let me recoup some of these. Yes, we made it. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to leave you there to hold the ground. I want the rest of my tanks moving along. And like I said, the time for encirclement is upon us. Can't allow them to stop our momentum here. So I'm going to grab the tanks and have them go around. I don't want him moving out either, but he'll take a little bit of time. Err... Uh, no, you guys help out with that. Tank, I need one of you there. You do the encirclement dance. Keep them locked in Buenos Aires. Encirclement to help a good chunk with this. 
I'm confident you won't, you won't get uh, cut off. So we'll have you go all the way. We'll have one of you go there, two of you go there, and then Buenos Aires will be ours. And everybody, when you get into position, you attack Buenos Aires. I mean, sure, you can try and stop me, but Buenos Aires is going down. Attacking for multiple defense. Uh, oh, they have a fort there. It's only a level one fort. We have tanks. That'll blow them away. <laughs> that said, though. Oh, shoot. I need one of you to be right there right now. Just you, let's have you uh, make your retreat there. Now I said I wanted this. It's still an important location for me to take. I'm gonna have you do it though. I'm gonna have you jump on that. And you take the city. Buenos Aires will fall in its own time. Still though, I feel a little uneasy about this. Let's not get ourselves cut off like a fool here. As long as I keep Buenos Aires under constant pressure, we should be good. Nobody defending that city, which is wonderful. We'll just take it like War of the Game style. So by taking one victory point, we've taken about 10% towards capitulation. So if we take this, they're just going to crumble. I just need to take Buenos Aires. It cannot reinforce. It is completely encircled. We'll keep on that. They may march on Mal de Plata. They don't seem to be making any push here, which is good news for us. Everybody here looks okay, and you guys are all making your move. Of course, once you're there, like I said, you attack Buenos Aires. A large combat width, but I need these reserves to actually get involved or else it's no good. So encirclement penalty, multiple conflicts. Ah, their attack is down the drain. I would benefit from just a single division helping out there. Okay, I really don't need you to be doing all this. What I need is Buenos Aires going down, not everybody jumping on this bandwagon. I only wanted to attack them, I shouldn't have actually pushed so far that I'd take this. But I did, so what are you going to do? This is actually dangerous, I don't want this province, I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have done it, but I did. You're getting over there. These guys are getting destroyed. Once they run out of orc, they have nowhere to run to, they're going to die. I will take Buenos Aires, I will win. Jake, there's land you can push up in the northern front. Uh, there is not as far as I can... Oh! Well, thus the caveat, as far as I can see. Mind you, they are on the move. They'll be there in seven days. We'll be there in fewer. Now, taking an individual province up there is of very little value, because Buenos Aires is what this entire war is about. Buenos Aires falls, we win. Fish to the bash to the wash. Combat width is huge here. Man, Jose Francisco Soto is demolishing. He's not getting much more experience here, but still. Okay, they are down and out. Oh. That wasn't enough, though. They're not all the way towards capitulation, but this has been a great help for it all. They moved the capital over here, it's worth another point, but I will have to push a little harder, or so it seems. Regrettable, I was hoping that uh, we would see capitulation with that, but I see my mighty tanks still have some work to do. For example, Rosario needs to fall for us. 
Hmm. Aye, and there is a town up there which will be giving them some supply. So, mighty tanks. What's going on the offensive? You know, I'd rather not lose Mar del Plata, but I do not have the units to actually reinforce all of this. Jinx. They're trying to relocate, I see. Yeah, it's nice to have Buenos Aires, I'm telling you. <laughs> I wonder if I should recruit more f elite foot troops just so they can die as well. No, never mind that. So, eventually we'll have better weapons to research. How's that coming along anyway? Once I'm done with improved uh, equipment too, I will be investing in this because I get rid of the ahead of time penalty. And they'll be done in 29 days. I'm going to take a quick gander over at Europe to see how that's going. Republic and Spain finally feeling a bit of the hammer. What about the hammer and sickle though? Well, they're at war with the Allies, but they're just letting everyone else do all the fighting. Slowly churning their way through Finland, probably taking catastrophic losses. I've never played as a Soviet Union. It must be nice having, uh, what's it called again? Oh yeah, manpower. Kill everything. They will have a supply up here, so it's not like I can cut them off unless I take this city as well. But, that said, take this city, huh? Sounds tempting. If only I had a tank or two up there with the uh, speed and dexterity to do such a thing. But this line is going to get dangerously wide. Hmm? Jinx, how did I forget about you? You've got nothing going on. Alright, this is where I get very sloppy. But I want that city. I want to force that capitulation. I could take their new capital. Actually, I might as well whilst I'm here. Let's just go and grab it. I might get cut off. No, I shouldn't be risking such things so frivolously. You guys are safe fish there. We'll have you go up. point towards getting him to capitulate. Another city and a chunk of land should do it. And we're looking at said city. I want this one though. Boy, that would be nice. Tricky though. I wonder if I could just zoom up there. Nobody would notice, right? Hmm, that's silly. Let's not uh, get rid of the province we just took. One in the hand and all that. Concerningly large gap here, just because I do not have the numbers to reinforce all of this. Hmm. Yeah, I look forward to having wars that are on smaller fronts. You know, like Brazil. Jake, your country borders look like an abstract work of art. Whew. You know, what's nice is that people walking in on this, without having seen the past two hours, might not think I'm doing too badly, but uh, there are going to be a lot of people who the memory of uh, Paraguay are going to be fresh in their heads. Okay, you did it. You managed to take it. Let's just hold you there because I do not want to lose this. Actually, it doesn't matter if I'm cut off here. I have my own supplies coming in via.